because you are a guru here at Hera Hub, which means you donate a certain portion of your time to support the community. Uh, but before we get into your guru hours, just tell us a little bit about you, a little bit about your background, where'd you go to school, what, what do you focus on on your business, that type of thing. So my background is um, political science and finance as well as law. So I got my bachelor's in political science and then I got an MBA in finance from University of Redlands. And then I actually worked in investment advising and finance uh, for five, almost six years before I moved into the world of law. Um, I, I actually got my law degree at California Western School of Law here in San Diego. And I um, finished law school and just kind of jumped in to start my own practice. And I've been doing it ever since. Um, and because I have the background in finance and um, I worked as an investment advisor, I focused a lot on working with businesses because I have the business background. And then as well as working with families who um, are do setting up trusts, wills, or anything of that nature to protect them. Um, because I've worked with people on the financial side of that, it just felt really natural. And I have a lot of knowledge in that area. So that's what I do. I help businesses either with their transactional stuff to start, launch, restructure, as well as even look into their finances to see how we can help them grow. And then also uh, families with their uh, any form of estate planning. Got it. Awesome. So let's dive in a little more because the audience that uh, we focus on here at Hera Hub is on the business side. Yeah. So let's, I want to maybe clarify a, a few terms for folks. So uh, transactions. <laughs> we hear this a lot. You know, uh, business yeah. transaction attorney. What is what does that mean exactly? You know, um, my marketing team has been telling me that I need to, you know, really clarify that for business owners because a lot of the times the misconception people have is that they come to an attorney when something goes wrong. So my practice focuses on preventing things from going wrong. And that's what transaction essentially means. It's, it doesn't mean something went wrong and we're going to court to litigate it and fix it. It means we're setting up a proper system and method within your business and a structure to prevent those things from going wrong. So that's what transaction essentially means. It means we're more of a proactive attorneys where we make sure that we get your contract structured properly or make sure we set up your business entity, which is you know your business name and your business company properly set up so that you, know, you can be protected from things like ongoing problems with contracts or litigation, which is any type of lawsuit or, or your, you know, claims against you. And then just really looking at like the intricacies of how you're going to run your business so that you do, we do prevent problems and losses of money and a lot of things that business owners, you know, do encounter along the way. Got it. So a bulk of that, what I'm hearing you say is contracts, it's agreements. It might be a vendor agreement, a lease agreement, a uh, contract with a potential partner. Is, is that right? Yeah, it is. It, it it's basically contracts uh, and it's even, and it's just contracts with all the different people involved in your business. It's mm -hmm. the agreement you make um, with yourself and the state to set up your company. It's mm -hmm. the agreement you make with yourself and your clients as to what services you'll provide and under what circumstances. Um, it's the agreements that you, you make with your business partners as how you're going to distribute, you know, losses and gains, you know, essentially it is, you know, the business of making sure that you have, you know, your agreements properly set up in place and even your agreements with your employees um, yeah. so that they're aware as to, you know, what the expectations are when they work for you and, you know, what they get from you from working for you, et cetera. So. Absolutely. And I assume all of those things are areas people can come to you and ask questions about. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. I, I you know, I, I do work with business owners, but I also have, you know, people who are, uh, kind of ID have an idea that they want to like bring to fruition and I do a lot of that exploration with people too because you know my business background it's kind of I, I love exploring that with people and and sometimes it's like great let's set up a company for you and other times it's like you know let's let's get you to someone who could put together a proper business plan for you so that you we can get you there so yeah that is, that is things that they can come to me for and as well as people always overlook leases. 
Um, mm. Leases are super important too, because a lot of times they will make or break your business. If you know, you have a lot of, if you end up with a lease you can't get out of, or you end up with a lease where you're expected to turn the building into it actually like properly functioning for you. And mm. you're responsible for a lot of costs. A lot of people are not aware of that. So just different agreements that will protect your business from any type of loss. Good. Awesome. And Viviana, I know you're super involved in the community. Talk a little bit about some of the other volunteer work, maybe with some organizations that you're involved with. Well, I work with the National Latina Business Women's Association. Um, we try to go out there and educate Latinas as far as how they can um, launch their businesses, you know, proper ways to go about, you know, getting their businesses off the ground. And as well as, like I said earlier, exploring ideas. Um, and, and very unique to them because, you know, the Hispanic community, all, we all have like our cultural preferences and our ideas as to how we're going, we expect things to be. And we also, a lot of the times, sadly, we don't have a lot of the information that we need to get a business off the ground. So that's kind of one of my quests, like educating our community to, you know, the, the financial and the business and legal aspects of, you know, getting started. Because uh, a lot, of, especially right now, uh, it's really for people who are trying to do their side hustle, it's really important to let, you know, to get people started the right way so that if that, you know, quote unquote side hustle grows, it's already structured properly to protect them. Um, I'm also um, on the board for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the San Diego County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And the same thing too, we work with a lot of um, community um, business owners and even individuals, you know, we do a lot of charitable work. I try to jump in and help as much as I can uh, and kind of like take my daughter along with me when I, when there is something that she can do so that she can kind of get that little grain in her so that she will give back when she gets older as well. That's fantastic. I love that. Awesome. Well, Viviana, I want to thank you again for volunteering your time to support local entrepreneurs here in San Diego.